So I, I made the Armor of Light because um, I guess it's been a habit of a lifetime to ask hard questions. <laughs> and, and I was always a contrarian in my house growing up. Um, and in my house growing up, it was a very much a conservative household with very traditional values. And so as a, as a grown woman with very progressive understanding about politics, um, I know I'm in a very different place but it, from, from conservatives, but I also know that wh what conservatives think and believe isn't completely foreign to me. I understand it. And, and I understand that even though our politics are at cross purposes, I don't really believe our values are. Um, and it was in that spirit that I approached the conservatives who agreed to work with me. Um, I said to them, I don't disrespect you, and I don't do the things I do um, in spite of the values you hold, but because of them. Um, we just have different ideas about what those values mean mm. um, in terms of what is asked of us as political actors. And, and you know, honestly, I thought it was amazing, it was surprising to me, and, and, and wonderful that when I came to people in the spirit of genuine transparency um, and honesty and, and generosity, um, they trusted me. I mean, they fully handed me their trust, and I was very moved and honored by the trust that people offered me. I hope they feel honored, um, mm -hmm. and they feel like I, I was worthy of their trust. Um, I learned so much about, first of all, how, how powerful it is to have a stereotype explode in front of your very eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's actually a great experience. Everyone should have it once in a while. Um, <laughs> And so everything I thought about, I don't know, you know, I'm a smug New York liberal. What can I say? You know, <laughs> Hicks and rubes, people who aren't very smart and are clinging to God and guns and all the rest of it. I had to get rid of all of those preconceptions. Um, what I did learn is that in, in the world of very conservative Christians, there's a substantial amount of, of self-isolation. Um, and uh, people have grown very suspicious of people who are not already like them. So they they tend to want to walk in um, preset paths um, so that they don't have to encounter people that they're that they're genuinely afraid of, people who are not Christians in the way that they're Christians. And this creates a little bubble in which they generate and then propagate a lot of bad information. Um, and more than that, more importantly than information is fear. Um, and what we found repeatedly in every environment was just fear, fear, mm. fear. Um, so, you know, in a way, I came at the subject matter at Armor of Life from a sanctity of human life perspective, um, you know, because it just didn't strike me as consistent that you could argue for a stand your ground law, which deprived you of the duty to retreat or relieved you of the obligation to retreat from a conflict. You know how can you how can you square that with protecting every human life as you as you define it in in utero? Mm. Um, but actually, I think the bigger issue that I think needs to be confronted across the United States, but especially in evangelical communities, is fear, because mm. fear is just not a Christian emotion. Mm. If you genuinely believe what you claim to believe, there are a thousand things worse than dying, and the, um, the, the fear is so um, deep and um, poisonous that it creates hatred and it creates suspicion. It creates an unwillingness to look at facts and weigh them against your fears. Um, and it creates a deep, deep paranoia um, that is really gnawing away at the democracy in ways, a million ways we can all name. So um, the experience was really interesting and enlightening to me. Um, and it gave me a lot of thinking to do about my own smug beliefs and my, and my own people that I'm among. And, and it made me wish that liberals would, you know, I've decided that it's really hard to hug someone when you're up on a high horse. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we all need to get off our high horses.